All right, so today I am doing another test with blue paper. So this is the brand Paint On in the color denim, and it is from Mixed Media. It's quite thick. So this is the drawing I've sketched out already to redraw, I guess, over here onto this because it's too thick for me to use my light box, which is a little disappointing, but that's all right. So I will be trying out markers today. Last time with the blue paper, I had done paint, gouache paint specifically, but I'm going to do some tests with markers on the blue to see what kind of colors pop up before I move to the final drawing. All right, so welcome back to my channel and here I am swatching super, super quickly some markers onto this paper. So I thought that they would work a little better, but I don't know why I thought that, but um, because I had primarily expected like I knew the blues would look, but I thought a little more of like maybe the red or pinks would show up, just completely not realizing how uh, dark the paper actually is compared to some of those markers. But anyway, I still think it would be fun. Like I went with blue because I really wanted to like, like it's blue paper, but I really think that next time it'd be more fun to go with like the purple because like those purples look really great. So here I am trying to find um, colored pencils that are about as close to the markers as I could find and swatching them as well. Now, no surprise, the colored pencils turned out a lot better. And I think that's because like they sit on top of the paper versus soaking into it. So I did end up using colored pencil, I think for a lot more of this than I originally planned, but I don't know, I think she ends up pretty cute, so I mean you'll just have to watch and find out. So I did end up cutting a lot of the sketching out of the video because you cannot see this pink on here and I do regret I didn't end up uh, lining her either because I just wanted to go for a real like seamless look. So. Yeah, that's unfortunate, but about the drawing itself, I would just, something about the blue, I just wanted to go with really like romantic and flowy. I really wanted to draw a girl with like really pretty hair and like this big dress. So that's where I landed. I also, like I wanted her detailed, but not too detailed, just so that way I didn't want to set expectations too high, but anyway. So I, yeah, see, you can hardly see it. So you, you're not missing anything when I'm sketching, but here is a little bit of a close-up, so you can kind of see it there when the light hits it just right, except for the nose, which I went and did in uh, normal mechanical pencil, so you could see that. But um, then I decided to kind of treat this I don't know, more like something physical, like carving cells. So I was like, I'll take this purple color, which I will start by like coloring in the shadows. So that way I could really start to see the image take shape, I guess, and a little bit for your benefit. And so I said, then I tried to lay some pink marker down anyway. Didn't really work. So then I go in with this like nude color and I start coloring the skin and then I just kind of realized I was like oh, the skin is going to have to be primarily done in colored pencil because the skin tones just do not show up on this blue at all so even though this is sped up you can see me contemplating life as I'm going about this and it like dries really dark at first like when you first lay it down so it looks real scary at first so i was like oh fuck it i'm done with the skin right now so i'm gonna move on and work on the hair and i gave her her little eyelashes and stuff so that way she wouldn't look so scary either and the hair was definitely one of my favorite parts to do i think because i started with a dark brown and I just kind of outlined and did shadows and stuff 
for the little hairdo. The hairdo doesn't exactly make a lot of sense, but that's kind of like one of my favorite things to do right now is just kind of pretend hair doesn't obey the laws of physics. And hair doesn't care at all about gravity or how you feel. It can be whatever you want. It does whatever it wants. It's just... Anyway. <laughs> I just thought it was funny. So then I go in with an even darker brown and just kind of deepen that up because I was like, oh, how dark did I want it? Originally, I didn't want it that dark, but I was like, you know what? I think I need something that shows up even more on this paper. So the dark brown it is. And I did, I didn't want the like light parts to be exclusively blue. So I did go and throw some of that orange into it, which obviously doesn't really show up very orange, but I threw some of that orange into it. So that way it's toned a little bit away from the blue. So that way it at least looks like it's been colored. And then I go and I fight with the skin some more. I try putting in a darker orange. I put in some more shadows. And now here I am giving up on the skin with markers all together and going in with colored pencil. So I start with this very lovely violet for the shadows and a richer orange for the blending between the shadows and like the original skin tone color, I guess. So there I am going on with this beigey color in the highlights and stuff. So that'd be where like the light would hit it and also kind of blending it into the orange and the purple, trying to make her seem like she has a real skin tone. Because she didn't before, she was a smurf. So yeah, I think the colored pencils are definitely the way to go. The markers are kind of fun, more as a base, I guess, depending on the color you're using. So like the markers were really great as a base for the hair, for example. Um, but they were not as great of a base for the skin tone. It just kind of made it muddy. Whereas I think if I would have went in with only colored pencils on the skin, it would have been great. I am not going to let this paper beat me. I will figure out a way to make something that looks nice on it. I swear to you. I will be giving it a break though, because that's two videos in a row of me trying to figure this shit out. And it's just not working. So... I will be moving on. The next video will be a continuation of my planets series. Um, they're like as characters, but they're, they're kind of goddess-like. So anyway, my next mistake with this, it's not really a mistake, I guess. It's just, I didn't actually plan out what I liked yet or what I kind of wanted the coloring of the dress to look like at all. So I just, I knew blue and then it ended up being really plain because I kind of thought it was like really I want to work with the color of the paper with the color of paper not against it I really think that maybe I should have fought it a little bit more maybe I should have used a little bit more marker and a little less paper you know what I'm saying put more marker down and less of just using the color of the paper because it makes the rest of the dress not as fun but there I go as well, adding some more pink in. And this color is called Nectar. It is my favorite color. These are uh, Prismacolor colored pencils, by the way. Um, I did not buy them in any sort of pack. They were all gifted to me and they were old, like they're very old, which I mean, colored pencils don't really go bad, so it's not that big of a deal. And the markers I'm using are Copic markers. And this blue paper is, um, the it's paint on something, I don't know. I will link all of my supplies below as well as links to my website, cause I gotta go put that little plug in there. And here I am working on the bottom part of the dress, just putting in shadows. Um, but anyway, so I have a website now. It's a relatively new this year. Um, I've been doing a lot better keeping it updated. So it has images of my recent and like best works that I like. It has any in-person events that I am doing listed on it. And it has links to all of my socials. Listed below are also links to all of my socials. But the website looks pretty cool. My husband and I made it ourselves, so I'm pretty proud of it. I love the colors and they turned out great. It also has a blog on there that I update uh, kind of like YouTube. I'm supposed to, I'm trying to update it every week, but it doesn't always happen considering how many videos have I posted for the year? Not that many, but 
I keep it updated as often as I can, talking about my adventures as a small business owner and the things I am up to and how I keep motivated and all of that kind of fun stuff. So back to the drawing. So with the dress, I was like, okay, well, I'll put the shadows in and then I'll put highlights in and then the, the paper color will be the color of the dress. Okay, cute. It was just really boring because I also did not plan to do a background. So I'm like, okay, well, now it's just like a girl's skin with this dress. Like, it's almost like the dress was, like the paper is the dress, you know? Like, it's just, it just wasn't exactly what I was picturing when I thought I was going to be conquering this blue paper today. And so I'm a little disappointed in myself. But I think the idea is there and this is definitely closer. I think if I maybe go back to painting, but use paint like I'm coloring with colored pencils and paint something that I think I'll be better at, it might look good, it might look better. Maybe actually thumbnail and sketch some stuff out beforehand. That might, that might be it. I'll get this paper someday. So now the screen looks a little funny. You might have noticed the shift and that's because I'm an idiot and I try to do something to help myself and I end up hurting myself and that is I try to have my watch on to make sure everything is staying in frame and whatnot but if you bump the crown of it it will zoom in and out so then I bonked it and it zoomed out and then you could see like so much other stuff including my face the whole time I did not enjoy that not what I wanted so wrong but here I am kind of trying to do some finishing touches, saving it with my white colored pencil because that shows up phenomenally. And I added the little squiggle at the bottom to be like lace. And then I colored in her white gloves because the reason she didn't have hands yet was because I wanted gloves. And then I'm just kind of going back in and, you know, it's kind of touching up, but blending some things in, adding in some more shading, like that purple tone, which I love, by the way. That's like my, it's not my favorite colored pencil because I already said my favorite colored pencil was Nectar, but this one is a close second. But I just want to add a little bit more like a pencil texture so it looks different from like the paper, the background of the paper. And then I just kind of keep going in a little harder and then I pull out a white gel pen. This is a jelly roll one. And I go in and I add even more white highlights because this sits on top of the paper as well, but obviously it's like nice and nice and bright white. So I use it to color the white highlights on her jewelry specifically because she is wearing a lot of jewelry. And I add some sparkles and stuff to her dress and yeah, I kind of tinker with the pen for quite a while trying to, well, first off, I'm just obsessed with it to begin with, but I think I was thinking it would save the drawing if I did it, but it's, I'm not sure it does. But anyway, she is still super, super cute and I do like her and I think, oh, you know what? Maybe I'll change her colors up a bit. Keep the hair, that's the thing I wanna keep, keep the hair. And paint her instead. Wouldn't that be gorgeous? Her painted instead on the blue paper with the gouache paint, with, with colored pencil finishing touches. I think she'd be great. And then I would use white acrylic paint for the highlights so that way it doesn't blend in as much as gouache would. But yeah, there I was thinking apparently for a minute. Just kidding, I had criminal minds going on my computer next to me. Bad idea, because sometimes, you know how long it took me to edit this video, to edit out all the times I just stopped working and was staring at the screen? Anyway, so I just, I was kind of thinking, she was very like Cinderella-esque, so I edited in all these beautiful little sparkly things, sparkles, I don't know if it would be more like magical, or if it's just like sequins, or like, jewels sewn into the dress i don't know but either way i did really like it because it did do a lot more to separate the dress from the background again because like i said it just like 
her top half was looking really great because like obviously it's the skin the hair the bodice all the jewels but the bottom half of the dress just ended up being really really boring and i think it would have looked a lot better had i carried the color down maybe done an ombre dress so it like fades dark to light there's a cat in here um you know fades dark to light or you know light down to the dark or something but then i used a, a dark rich pencil glue to add in some more details and whatnot and more shading because i realized that i color the gloves white but didn't do anything more with it and a little sparkle to the shoe a little more white in the lace and she is almost done my little white highlight finishers on the face and like her little shiny cheeks and whatnot love it so much i also went and did a little more work on her lips to make them stick out as much because i hadn't really given them that much attention in her eyes and stuff so that way it all like you can see her face a little bit because it was quite tiny and colored pencil unless you have like really sharp pencils you know you kind of lose the details in there and i the face is the best part i didn't want it to look dumb and then I was like, I gotta do something, something to help like carve her out. So I took the, um, the white pencil and I did this edge on her dark side because the idea was that the light was on her dark side and then the dark was on her light side. So that way it might help her pop a bit. I think it ended up looking a bit messy, but you know, the heart, the passion was all there. I was supposed to try to make it seem like her dress was intentionally that color, you know? And I tried, smudged it a bit with my fingers so you couldn't see as much of the, you know, try to soften the blow a little bit. But anyway, she is pretty much done. I do add some close, see, that's, I just noticed them. Um, but there I, I do add in, oh gosh, goodness sakes, cannot speak. I add in a slower mo clip for you to see all the little details. And here is, I don't know what that was for, but <laughs> there we are. She's done. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, let me know what you thought. I'd love to hear from you. Have a great day. Bye.